Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. So today is a beautiful day. I get to work outside. I'm pretty excited about that because it's about, oh, 70 degrees, perfect sunshine, clear skies, the benefits of working from home. I love being home. So when we went to Reunion this year in St. Louis, um, we had an amazing speaker. Her name is Becca Levi and she talked to us about excuse busting. Now, I happen to be part of her downline, which is pretty amazing, um, and she's also become a pretty good friend. So, we had a conversation the other night, and you know, I think sometimes we feel like um, we've gotten beyond a certain point, and I've had this talk online with you guys before, that, you know, does this really pertain to me? Is this really something that I need to be listening to? And ultimately, every lesson is for everyone. And I am no exception. So, <clears throat> we're coming clean today. Um, I'm not big on making excuses. I'm not a big person to accept excuses either. However, with that being said, um, you can tell I'm a little nervous because this is pretty big for me and the fact that I have to admit this <laughs> is horrible. Um, one of our prize things that we have to our repertoire of tools as a direct salesperson is what we call, what we call or what Becca calls lottery tickets. When you go to an event or you go to a fair or a show, a lot of times people have like a drawing box and you enter your information and you pick, get picked for a prize. Well, I do that almost at every event and I pick a prize and somebody wins and I always contact them. But the problem that I personally have is that I don't follow up with the slips that are entered. Been doing this for three years over three years and I have gone through stages of following up where I would call the people on the slips I have gone through stages of entering the information into our database so that they can receive my newsletter but I've also gone through stages where I have done nothing um, I don't enjoy talking on the phone as far as picking up the phone and calling people I don't enjoy that um, I, yeah, see, I can make excuses. <laughs> so I need to share something with you and come clean. Um, I've, I save all of them, first of all, and this is my stack. I would say that this is about six inches, maybe five inches thick. If you squish it, it's only about two. <laughs> um, but there are for both Sensi and Grace Adele in this. And my excuse busting is that I am going to, well, first of all, I already did one step. And that was to go through all of them. These are all ones that have just a phone number and their name. So there's no email address, which means I can't enter them into the database for my newsletter because my newsletter gets uh, emailed. So this is a stack of just phone calls. Um, the ones that are paper clipped are ones that actually checked off that they wanted to have a party, a basket party, or wanted to learn about the opportunity. So I am going to come clean to all of these people. I am going to call them. I am going to eliminate my excuses and I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to follow up with you guys so that you know how it's working out for me. So that's that. This is the stack of people um, that did provide an email address. Oh, there's a bee, there's a bee, there's a bee. Do you see him? <laughs> I hate bees. Okay, that's an excuse, right? If I can swat at him, I'm going to. He's just... <laughs> Baby, get him! <laughs> My dog is out here. 
I don't edit videos. <laughs> Can you not tell? <laughs> okay, so back to the <laughs> the program at hand. So these are the ones that have email addresses. And so these need to all be entered into my database because um, they can get my newsletter. Now the ones that are paper clipped, once again, are ones that selected that they either wanted information on a basket party, a home party, a fundraiser, maybe um, the opportunity itself. So um, are these a lost cause? No, they're not a lost cause. I'm going to have to come clean with them and I think when I when I call everyone and just explain you know look I I failed miserably but I am here for you and I want to make sure that you know that I can be the best Sensi consultant possible and I'm gonna ask them what that looks like to them so I am <laughs> moving forward I am trudging forward I am going to do this. I am going to be an excuse buster and I challenge all of you because I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one that has this. I know I'm not because one of the biggest downfalls or one of the biggest obstacles for direct sales is picking up the phone. We all don't like it. There are some brilliant people out there that love it <laughs> and kudos to you. Um, but I am not one of those. So I'm going to be working on this. Um, I also have all of these that are actually Grace Adele. And what perfect time to call them and let them know that um, there is a huge mega sale going on with Grace Adele and that they can get some really good prices on a lot of uh, purses, bags, and accessories. So I will be calling probably these first. Um, to let them know and also to let them know that the company is going to be um, going away, you know, so that they, they don't wonder why I'm not contacting them um, and possibly ask them if they have a Sensi consultant. So that's the deal with these. I haven't sorted these out yet, but excuse busting. Challenge yourself to be an excuse buster. Becca, thank you so much for the challenge as well. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye now.